the type of hypothetical thinkers I hate. I'm going to just name four today. How y'all doing? This is Authentic Epic Boom. And I appreciate your presence. Thank you for coming, boomers. Let's get into this vibe session. Hypothetical thinkers of the worst kind. Mm -hmm. Number one, the so-called friend. Yeah, the so-called friend who's never been through any of the things that you've been through. But what you tell her when you're going through something, she has an answer for it. What she wouldn't do. She throws shade at you like, girl, if that was my situation, I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. But you know what's interesting? That same friend that wouldn't be scared is the same friend that won't meet you at the mall because some females did what to her? Got in an argument with her? She won't make that clear what that was about. Mm. How you got to answer for stuff or want to throw shade in your answer? Or your hypothetical answer for something that didn't happen to you that might happen to me and other people but you still saying hmm I don't get scared but you won't even meet me at the mall where whatever happened with you and these females unclear because you won't make it clear do I have to investigate I ain't got time for that number two so-called family member or friend you know, the know-it-alls. Oh, that wouldn't happen to me. You go through something. You're going through stuff. You need somebody to talk to. You reach out to your friend or your family member. And you tell them the situation that you're going through on every level. And they laugh out loud and say, hey, that wouldn't happen to me. What if you're in a bad situation of any sort of kind? And it's getting worse. There's nothing to key, key and laugh about stuff. The reason why I'm breaking these down, I'll explain later. But if somebody's going through something deep or tragic in their lives, they might need for you just to shut the fuck up and listen. Learn something. Absorb the information. Keep an open mind because people, everything in your life is not black and white. It's that damn gray area. I'm going to need for you to see it. That's not what life is. And number three is one of my name favorites. Like I said, I'm only going to mention four for now. Number three is the one that pretends to care when they really don't. You talk about stuff that you're going through, they cut you off and get right back into them. You know the narcissistic ones because no matter what you talk about, no matter what you're going through, you listen to them. But when you talk about something, they cut you off. Like they're on, on, on a stage for performing arts in front of the biggest concert in the world. You know, like they're Beyonce or Jay-Z. Like they Kanye or J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar. Or they Sai or Young M.A. Like they got people, you know, waiting to give them the applause. They can't get into you because they're so narcissistic and selfish. They can't be there for you. So anything you say is pretty mundane because they don't hear you. Hate those. And number four, the closed-minded one. Very closed-minded. Because, no, that can't happen. If you're going through something, no, that can't happen. You must have created that situation. Or, that would never happen to me. No, I can't see anything happening outside of my life. Just really naive. Closed-minded. And when you say something to them, they give you the side eye. Because... It does not commute. The 2 plus 2 that's 4 to you is not to them, honey. At all. They can't understand why you're going through what you're going through. What happened? Do you, do you, I don't know, I don't understand. You know, the kind that pretty much got a question mark in front of their face. They will never be able to help you, but expect so much from you. They got a closed mind, and anything you go through does not happen in life. You know, like things are not realistic. I say all of that to say to you is, do you have those kind of friends in your life? Because those are the kind of people I'm exiting out of mine. You don't need them. We got a new year coming. A new year, hopefully with the greatest thing possible. I wait for each and every one of you. And I thank you for subscribing, looking, you know, learning from me. I'm learning from you. And having my back and giving me the best of prayers and advice. I thank you all. If we had these kind of people in our lives, I think it's time for us to do that damn drop kick, okay? It's time for them to be 
cremated and set off to sea. Hopefully y'all catch that subliminal. Meaning that relationship should be dead and over with. Because we don't need dead weight. We don't need somebody tracking us and bringing us down, being negative, not having an open mind, not being friends, not being, you know, sympathetic and not knowing about that gray area. We all need that, y'all. We all need that. We need love, support. And if we don't seem to get that from the people that we call ourselves friends with or even sometimes family, we need to drop their asses like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have to say for now. I will be back to you sooner than later. All right. Y'all take care. Subscribe. This is Authentic Epic Boom.